August 2nd, 2019. We are back at it today. Ashton is up and at it. He's on his way to the daycare. He's getting loaded in the truck. He says he doesn't want to talk to on the vlog this morning. He's a little tired, a little cranky. Hey, Ash, how'd your soccer game go last night? Ty, he's not even talking to me. We are off to the Bay Aquini FLW Canadian Championship starts. I think it's two weeks from now. Yeah, it's gotta be two weeks. We still haven't got enough spots. And after Sunday, we can't pre-fish the Bay for an entire week. Just part of the rules for that. I'm guessing that everybody has a fair shot at pre-fishing so that some guys who have more time than other guys can't go for two weeks. So it's closed for a week. Doesn't matter. We gotta run to Coburg, drop the Ash Man off at the daycare. They have a busy planned day. We're gonna go to Belleville and fish east of Belleville today. Last time we went, we went between Belleville and Trenton. I didn't find anything really good. Today, we're putting them Garmin units to work because we gotta find some bigger fish. If we even stand a chance at this. <sighs> Let's go. Let's do this. Let's catch some big ones. Or just some like real decent three and a half, three high threes would be awesome. A bunch of them. Let's go. <laughs> to Belleville and the Bay of Quinney. This is where we're going to continue our pre-fish or finding spots. The last time we were at the Bay of Quinney, we had we were fished all west of here. Today we're gonna fish the east section, but we're gonna make some changes. I got some pretty cool new toys to play with. One of the things we I have to find if we're going to do any damage is fish out deep. On the Bay of Quinney, they're known for hitting moving baits and bigger baits a little better than other lakes right here. All new Cody Meyer 7.6 search bait rod. It is a deep water crankbait rod. I'm gonna use it for swim baits. I'm gonna use it for lipless crankbait, anything to cover water. I'm really excited about that. The other change we're gonna make today, my chatterbait rod, my glass Tatua chatterbait rod has worked awesome this year. The only problem is, is that ever since switching to this chatterbait with the black blade, I've got next to zero hits on it. It is pretty much dried up. So we're gonna change this. We're cutting this off today. We're gonna save the trailer, put the chatterbait away. Let me know in the comments, do you ever catch anything? I've had my best luck on silver blades. So I'm gonna try this jackhammer, ounce and a quarter, super heavy to try to get down to those deeper fish. But let me know in the comments, you ever, what's your favorite blade on a chatterbait? What are you having the most success on? Ever since putting that black one on, I, I don't think I've caught a single fish on it. We're gonna try the jackhammer today. I think this is a, like a glow in the dark color. Mr. Mercer picked this one up for me. I don't feel like that's right. Might have to do some adjusting out there with this, but we're tying her on and we're giving this a go. Let's we'll see if all the hype about the jackhammer is true. Oh. That's a terrible knot. Starting again, we are going to run the, this with a black, blue, and white trailer to start with. Ton of bluegill in the Bay of Quinney. And hopefully with this, we're gonna find some deeper fish that are schooled up and bring it home. Today is all about finding deep fish. Now the only thing else we gotta worry about is me trying to hit the shoreline pound in the bank. I've gotta work on that. So I think we got everything in the boat. I think we're ready to get started. Fingers crossed we get some. Let's put the Daiwa battle wagon in the water and get ready. I'm pumped. We gotta find some deep fish. I just, I got, I got no choice. We gotta find deep fish if we're gonna do any damage here at all. These Garmin units and the live scope are gonna come in handy today, I'll tell you. Let's do this. Right here next to me, something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I look a mess. And you tell me to confess, and you tell me to confess, oh. I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see. This is not the Want to, but I don't think we have a choice. It's 11:35. I caught one small mouth about this big. We're gonna pound the bank a little bit here and see if we can't just find some fish because I can't find anything deep. Let's see if we can get one, just anything. Oh, the struggle's real today. You know what? I should probably take that one. Huh? 
the first one and he hardly bit and he's just a little guy. Where are your friends? Where are your friends? One. They're not hogs, but another one. Oh, gotta find them deep, but the only place I can catch them is shallow. Good fish. Gonna have fish now, but they are not the right size fish. There's just something special about coming to the Bay Coin to get your butt kicked. I can't believe I couldn't find any deep fish and I had to, I, I fished from probably eight till noon without a bite. Then I moved shallow and I got some small ones. Nothing that is possibly going to help us in the FLW championship. I'm, I'm puzzled, I don't like, it's humbling. I, I don't have a hard time catching deep fish anywhere else, but when it comes to the Bay of Quinney, I just cannot get a bite. I tried drop shotting, flipping jig, spinner baits, jatter baits, everything I could possibly think of to get a hit out there. And I had to come shallow to catch a bunch of little fish. So, turned out that Mr. McCall and I are going to have a ton of work to do because today didn't help at all. Today, if anything, put us back. Sean knows the bay. He's been out here quite a few times. I'm not sure how he's done, but he got some fish. We need to, I need to figure this out. I, I need to get the Bay Aquini curse off my back. Used to catch all kinds of them 10 years ago, slam fish here. Five years ago, no problem. The last two or three years, my God, it's like pulling teeth out there trying to get a bite. I'm off the water early. It's right around four o'clock. I got it. I'm going from Belleville to Coburg to get the Ash Man. It's Friday. I don't want him to stay at the daycare too late. It's a long weekend too. And somebody has a very special birthday birthday tomorrow. Look who's in the house. Ash, come here, quick. Oh, big slam. Come here, man. What? Dude, everybody's been talking about your crown deal. Yeah? So yeah, some people think you should start making fishing lures out of that. What do you think? You can't. You can't? We can't use crown fishing lures? Nope. Dude, did you have a good day at daycare? Yep. You know what? I had a okay day fishing. Not very good fishing today. I got a question for you. I got two questions for you. One, whose big birthday is it tomorrow? My dog. Who? My dog. What dog? Tana. How old did she turn? 16. 15. 15. Second question, I heard a rumor that you're going on vacation next week. Yeah. Where are you going? With my brother. Where are you guys going? <laughs> Darien Lake? Darien Lake, yeah. Yeah, okay, you get buckled in, we got stuff to do. We gotta make moves, man. Home time, quickly, more moves, gotta go. We are home, we unloaded the boat and truck and we got one more thing to do with our day. What? 
We're going to Mercer Marine to update one of the Garmin units. Yeah, in the truck, we're taking the boat. We're going to Mercer Marine. It's like Wonderland or Darien Lake, but for boats. Are you coming? Are you coming? Yes. Are you coming? Yes. Guess what? What? You're supposed to get in on the other side of the truck, not that side. Mercer Marine, here we come. What you want to please don't be polite cause I like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head it's me and you hold speed and my heart is racing but I'm not sure I wanna place it cause it only does this with you our bodies meet I can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our bodies be true We are updated. My man, thank God yep. you saved that on your phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those are pretty simple to update, though, eh? Extremely easy. I could really do it myself if I would have had your cell phone. Probably not. No. So, you, <laughs> that is not the truth. <laughs> the uh, All you had to do was you saved it from the website onto your yes. SD card on your phone. Yep. We plugged it in, and it yep. automatically updates all three units so they sync. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. What are you doing this weekend? Fishing the Derby on Saturday and going to Quinny Sunday. Nice. Quinny Sunday is the last day we can pre-fish before the time restraint off limits. Apparently, yes. Apparently. Yeah. It makes me nervous too about this kind of stuff, but I heard it was Sunday too. It says Monday at 12 a.m., whatever time that is. Yeah, bro. Have a good weekend. Good luck at your Derby you Beggars event and Sunday pre-fish. And I don't know, Sean and I are either going to pre-fish Sunday on rice or maybe back to the bay. Well, Probably a good idea to follow you and uh, the young lad around. Get some waypoints. Some with fish. So deep I, ones. So I can fix deep your ones. You got yeah. You got yeah. deep ones out there. Lots. Yeah, I got none. Zero. Hey, dude. What? Way to come out and visit. Nope. I didn't want to come out. <laughs> well, home from Mercer Marine, and the exciting news of the day: it is this puppy's birthday tomorrow. 15 years old. Can you believe that this dog and I have been here together for 15 years? I was looking through photos last night. Look at that. There she is. It must have been the week that she came home because she's still got the blue ink on her ear. 15 years of hanging out, being excited to come home to see me. I would get through the door and she is excited. She's had a, a, a hard couple years. She's diabetic. She's pretty much deaf anymore. You gotta talk to her in hand signals if you want her to come and stuff. But th she has been a heck of a dog. Montana turns 15 years of age. I knew a couple people who had some of her litter mates and none of them made it to the age of 10. So we're really lucky to have Montana. She's diabetic. She gets insulin at seven in the morning and 7 p.m. every day for about the last five years. And if you're watching this today, it comes up. Today is her 15th birthday. What are you doing, puppy? She's in good spirits. Try, uh, Bay Quinny didn't go so hot today. Part, all part of the pre-fishing game. We'll get it all figured out before the FLW event comes. Trenton, Ontario, good day. Gotta kinda try stuff to learn stuff. And when that doesn't work out, you just gotta brush it off and move on to the next thing. I gotta find some deep fish. McCall assured me on the way home that he knows where some deep fish are. So Sunday, I'm hoping we're either gonna go pre-fish Rice Lake or we're going to go to the Bay of Quinty 2 and fish the last day before the cutoff. Guys, girls, thank you. Subscribe to the Fear Vision Instagram page. Make sure you leave a comment saying happy birthday to Miss Montana. She's been a heck of a dog. 15 years together, can you believe that? I think the only other person who I lived with for longer than 15 years was maybe my mom and dad. Not even my brother, because I'm four years older than him. Well, see you soon.